Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Saurabh, and this is my YouTube channel, Data Science Numbers. So, if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. Your efforts are massively appreciated. In the last video, we talked about how to load the data. We created our target variable and we did some visualization as well. So, in this video, we are going to do the most essential part of any project that is data cleaning. In data cleaning task, we try to find missing values and we fill them with suitable methods. Also, we try to detect outliers. Since it's an NLP task, we don't have to worry about outliers. Here we have to deal with missing values and we have to clean our text. That we will be doing in later in this video series. So let's see, is there any missing values in the data? In order to do that, we have is null method which returns true when there is a missing value and false when there is no missing values. So let me show you how to do that. So here we see that false, false, false. That means there is no missing values here. So it's quite a big data. We can't go check each values that there is missing value and there is not missing values. So what we will do, we will return missing values in percentage. So let me show you first how to return number of missing values. To do that, we call some method after is null method. Okay. So here we see we have zero number of missing values. That's a good thing. Now, if we just multiply it with 100 and then divide it with the length of the data frame, we get missing values in percentage. So let me hit and run. And here we see that we have 0% of missing values. Well, this may work well with other projects, but for NLP specific projects, we have to do one more thing. That is, we have to check for empty strings because is null method cannot detect empty string. So let me explain you first this line of code and then we will see what I'm trying to say. So first we created an empty list and that will store the index of all the rows containing an empty string. Now we run a for loop on dftext.iter items. So iter item method returns two things, namely index and the text itself. So index variable will take index and the text variable will store the text. Next we have a condition. If the text is a space, that is, if it's empty, then we move to the next line of code, that is, we append the list with the index, thereby storing the index of empty string. Once it's done looping, we print the length of blank. If it's zero, then we don't have empty string. So let's run this block of code. So here we see that we have 631 empty strings or blanks. So let's see how blanks list look like. Here we see list containing some random number. They are nothing but index of empty strings. So now let's check any random article. So we call the text column and then passing any number in square bracket. Basically we are passing an index and this will return the news at, at that index. So here we see our news article written at this index. Now we will pass a number from the blank we have created and see what it will return. So let's do that. Okay. So here we see that we have an empty string. So this is basically what I was talking about when I said empty string. This is how empty string look like. Okay. So next we are going to drop all these empty strings and before that we print shape of the data frame. So why we are doing this? Because just to check that drop operation runs successfully or not. So here we see these many rows and these many columns. 
Next, we are going to drop all the empty string from the data set. And to do that, we use drop any method and pass blank list. Okay, set, and now setting up the in place equals to true, we automatically brings these changes into the data frame. So let's do that. Press shift enter and the operation is applied to the whole data frame successfully. So now let's check whether it has run successfully or not. To do that, we again check the shape of the data frame. So we see here that earlier we had this much of the rows and now we have this much of the rows. So yeah, successfully we have applied this operation. So let. So next we are going to clean our text data because it's the most essential part of data cleaning process. And to do that, we make several imports. First, we import stop words from NLTK library which is specifically designed for NLP tasks. So what is stop words? Stop words are the English words which does not add much meaning to sentence. They can safely be ignored without sacrificing the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so we will remove these words. If you want to know more about stop words, check the GitHub link in the description. Then we import lemmatizer from NLTK. So what is lemmatization? So lemmatization is one of the text normalization techniques. In lemmatization, the words are replaced by root words or the words with similar context. So example, talking will be rep uh, replaced by talk. So why do we do that? So suppose we have talk and talking in a sentence, then algorithm will consider them different. And this is something we don't want. So for more detail, please refer to my blog and then we import spacey library and we load that library in variable called NL. Also we import RE that stands for regular expression. That's basically will help us to simplify the text and remove special characters from the text. So next we initialize the word lemmatizer and then in the next block of code, we are creating list of stop words. So here in this block of code, we are creating a separate list of stop words from NLTK and SPACI as well. Then we apply union operator from the set theory on these two lists so that the final list contain only unique words. So why I use these stop words from both the libraries? It is because the more stop words we remove, the better text we will have and hence the better result. Our algorithm will run more smoothly and it take it will take less time. Okay, so let's run this cell. Okay, we have some error. Uh, we have to run above these two cells. So we have to import these library. And next we are going to run this lemmatizer. And now we have to run this cell as well. Okay, so we here we have 326 words from Spacey and then 179 words from NLTK. So when we use uh, union operator, we get 382 words, 382 unique words to be more precise. And we will use these stop words to clean our text data. So next we are going to build a function that will clean our text data. So in the next video, we will be talking about this function till then. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. If you like my video, please do like and subscribe.